Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. It's finally spring. It's been a long winter and we've had a lot of frost in uh, all of February. So I haven't really been able to, able to make too many um, videos, but now spring is really here. Almost a couple of days more and then I think we will be uh, frost free probably. But this video, I, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about first flowers because they make me really happy and uh, also because they are really important um, in the way that they are food for hungry insects that wake up when we have warm days and uh, these are I think these are called Dortelia in Danish and I think they're called snowflakes maybe uh, in English, uh, they're not snowdrops, but they, they look a little bit alike. I think they are very delicate, delicious, beautiful flowers. And the yellow ones are Erantis. I think they're called the same in English. And uh, the other day when the sun was out, I did see some wild bees and some honeybees foraging in, in these flowers. Um, and it's also interesting to see that uh, a lot of the flowers, the very early flowers, are very high in both in pollen and nectar. Uh, and both are important for the, uh, for the insects. And um, I, really try, I really try to have, always have something with pollen and nectar flowering in the garden as much as I can. Of course, we will have a few months every winter where the, the, the insects are not out. But uh, I, I mean, I really try to stretch the flowering period in the garden. And all of these uh, early bulbs are so easy. They're so beautiful. They make you happy and they make the insects happy also. Um, and another one, um, another one of my early favorites are these uh, Helleborus, uh, these are Orientalis. Um, I think they are so amazingly beautiful and they are very high both in pollen and uh, nectar. So um, this one a little less I think in, uh, in pollen but never mind. Uh, they're, they're great to have and they're really easy to grow. They sell seeds so you can sort of spread them out. You see I have quite a patch here. And I'm trying to move more self-seeded babies so that eventually this will all be covered. Um, so there are a lot of lists on the internet where you can you can see how much pollen and how much nectar are in in each flower. Um, and I'm going to put a link uh, in the description below uh, of, of a list that in Danish that I like, but it also has. Uh, all the, the Latin names so you can easily look up how much pollen and how much nectar uh, is in the flowers that you like. Um, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You sort of have to find uh, which flowers will uh, follow uh, the ones that you already have. S just to filling out the holes so that you have a, a consistent flowering in the garden. Uh, it makes you happy and it makes the insects happy. So this bit of the garden is not the food forest, it's the old part of the garden. And uh, I think uh, it's maybe 90 years old, this garden. It's, uh, the, the house was built, the farm was built in, in 1932. And this means that we have a lot of old trees in this part of the garden and I love it. Lots of nuts and uh, these are hazels, hazels and also it means that uh, as it was tradition in the old gardens uh, was that you have bulbs like almost in layers so you will see in, uh, in uh, um, a couple of months first this will be filled with skillers and uh, mm, snipple I don't know the name in English but I'll put it in the description below Lots of uh, English bluebells and um, lots of narcissa and lots of tulips. And uh, so this bit is really, it doesn't look like much, but it will be quite amazing. Lots of wild tulips also in the garden. 
Um, so that's lovely and that is helping the insects. And um, as you can see underneath this beautiful bronze beach, uh, there are just a carpet of the most amazing wild tulips. These are the yellow bell tulip. They are, I think they're called Sylvestris, but I'll, um, I'll put the correct name in the description below. Uh, one last one of the, one of my favorite early flowers is one that's over here. I think it's so spectacular. So we will end with this one. It brings me joy every year. Um, now you see this is Iris Crocus. This is called uh, Reticulata Crocus Reticulata. No, Iris Reticulata. Anyway, I'll put the name in the description below. But look at that beauty. And um, that's the joy of spring, seeing all the flowers that's already up and those that are just on the way. So um, spring flowers are really important for the insects and for the joy of gardening. So thanks for watching. See you later.